Now that our model has been fit, we can proceed as we usually would to interpret the output. So we'll first look at our fixed effect test section. First, the wine effect is not statistically significant, although we are close, 0 0.08. The label effect in this data set is very strong, so certainly a statistically significant effect here, and we have no evidence of an interaction, so very close to a p-value of 1. At this point, I would normally expand the effect details section and look at the least squares means plots. So the first one I'll turn on is the effect for wine. Now we saw a 0 0.08 effect, so there are differences among these wines, at least numerically in our data set, but I wouldn't think that this is very good evidence that in the population, these wines really differ in terms of their overall rating. Next, let's look at the label effect. The label effect was P less than 0 0.0001, which is good evidence that we have some effect of our label. That is, other people who might rate these wines labeled this way would find a difference in the ratings just because of the labels. Now this is actually a pretty interesting effect, and I'll admit these are fabricated data, of course, I made these up for this example, but this is actually an effect that's been observed in real psychological studies about the effects of labeling on wines. And what we're seeing here is that bottles that were marked as cheap are actually rated as lower as bottles that were marked as expensive. And so we can see the means here, and we have the confidence intervals already printed out, but our test of this effect, since we only have two levels, we can look to just the label main effect. Now finally, the wine by label effect. So that's the interaction between our fixed factors. Let me get that least squares means plot, and we'll actually see that they look very stable. So regardless of which wine each individual was rating, and the wines did differ a little bit in how they were rated overall, but regardless of which wine was being rated, one, two, three, or four, when that wine was labeled cheaply, it was rated lower than when it was labeled with an expensive label. And this effect looks very stable, so almost completely parallel plots here. So these are the interpretations we would draw from this analysis. Notice that it's very similar to when we had regular factorial designs. In this case, the model is being fit differently, but really everything carries forward as usual. So you can use the same output that you normally used in fit model and actually interpret the output in the same way.